morning, my Sensei Carolyn family. I'm starting my dinner. Today I am doing some steaks. And I also have a corned beef brisket that I will be cooking as well. So what I'm going to do, or what I'm doing now, is putting them in here so that they can brown on the back side, on the back end of it. And once they brown, I'm going to put them in a um, a baking pan, and then put the meat inside of the uh, uh, cooking bag. This is my roaster that I'm going to use. I'm going to put a baking bag in that, and then I'll put the meat inside of that with bell peppers and onions. And I'm probably also going to add some potatoes to it. But this is the beginning of my dinner for Sunday. I have some butter beans that I started last night. They're pretty much ready. These are my butter beans. Smoked neck bones in them. I'm going to do some rice. It's going to be a simple dinner today, y'all. I'm not doing a whole big fancy dinner today. So that's my butter beans and my smoked neck bones in there. And yeah, y'all stay tuned. I'll be back. Alright, so y'all, these have brown. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm taking these out and putting another batch in. I'm going to let the brisket be the last one I put in because it's so big. I'll have to put that in by itself. You see these drippings here in the bottom? That's seasoning off of the meat. And I'll put my bell peppers and onions in that once I get everything browned up that's going to make for a good season so I have six of these steaks and then I have the brisket and that's the brisket right there I'm putting that in last alrighty so y'all stay tuned Alright, so I'm getting ready to put the beef oil in there. Just brisk it. Mm. That's going to take a while. But I'll be back, y'all. I'm going to let it burn on both sides, and then I'll flip it. And then I'll go ahead and be ready to put it in the oven once I saute my bell pepper and my onions. So y'all, hold on. Alright y'all, I'm back. I have some white potatoes here. I have some of the little gold and some of the regular gold potatoes. And what I did was um, I sprinkled some salt and pepper over my potatoes. And now I'm just spritzing it with some uh, olive oil. And I'm going to put these inside my baking bag as well. So that they can cook along with the meat here. And as you can see, all of the meat is browned. So now let me go ahead and give these potatoes a toss. And then I'll get everything in the bag. And then I got my oven already preheated to 350 degrees. All you do with these potatoes is just give them a nice good toss. So that the olive oil, the salt, and the pepper will be on all of it. And I'm just going to pour all this right into my oven bag. And like I said, as you can see, the meat here is done, so let me grab my pan here, my baking pan. I've already got my bag, um, already got my bag greased. You have to, if you use a baking bag, you have to grease it because if not, it's going to burst during cooking. So always remember that you have to grease it or either, what I did was use my Baker's Joy, um, spray that has flour in it in the pan I mean in the can and um, I sprayed my bag so let me go ahead and 
grab my onions and my peppers. I didn't saute my onions and my peppers again. Uh, they will have enough cooking time. I mean, you can or you don't have to. You can. So, these are my peppers and onions that I have ready to go on top as well. So let me go ahead and grab my bag with my, my pan with my bag here. Hopefully I can fit all this in here. Bear with me a minute, y'all. I ain't got much room in it for the kitchen. There we go. I can move some stuff out of the way. All right, there we go. All right, so that's my... So that's my bag. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. My little space is limited, y'all. And this pan is pretty big. All right, so I'm gonna go with what I got here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So, let's see. What do I wanna put in here first? I think I need to try to get this brisket in here first since it's the biggest. And I'll show y'all once I get everything in here. I'll I'll come back and show you how it looks. Just trying to get it in here right now. There we go. All right. So let me see if I can. I'm gonna pour this juice off of this meat right on in there. It's just some more flavor. That's what that's looking like. That's the brisket over to the left. And the steaks are down to the right side and in front. So now, maybe I can push that forward. There we go. So now, let me get these potatoes in there. Just pouring everything in. Got my potatoes in there. so that they're on all of it and this is one whole yellow onion that I have and a half of a bell pepper that I've sliced to put in here also gives it so much more flavor oh yeah I know this is gonna be delicious I can't hardly wait all right so that's Is my peppers, potatoes, and onions. I'm going to put, see I have my oven set for 350. It's already preheated. So let me put, I'm going to put just a smidgen of water in here just so it don't stick on the bottom. You don't need a lot because when you use a bag, the bag also makes juice or gravy. So that's what I'm going to do. Bear with me, get me some water. Show you how much water I got. Just that little bit right there. And when you pour it in, pour it on the sides because you definitely don't want to wash off your seasons. I might need to put a little about that much more because this is a lot of meat. There we go. This is the seasoning pack that came in the brisket. So I've already seasoned my meat with my regular seasonings. <clears throat> but I'm also going to go ahead and open this and sprinkle it on all of the meat in here. Well, everything, because everything's in there now. That's just some spices that came along. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm just going to sprinkle it all in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know this is going to be good. All right. So I have everything in there. And let's see if I can get it to focus. Come on and focus. I don't think it's going to focus. 
focus for me, but I have everything sprinkled on top of the meat and the potatoes and the onions. So the only thing left for me to do is to put my little tie wrap when you buy oven bags. Um, these little tie wraps. There we go. They come with your oven bag, so you just loosely wrap that around the tip of your bag. Make sure there's no air in your bag. Y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I'm actually putting, let's see if I can position it there. Um, no, you still ain't going to be able to see. But all I'm doing is closing my bag securely with my tie wrap. And the, use the tie wraps that come with the oven bags, y'all, because they're oven safe. Don't use any other tie wrap. All right, and then you also have to poke about six holes in the bag so that when it starts cooking, it's going to inflate, but you don't want your bag to burst. So now I'm going to put my six little slits in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I've got it ready. Got it oven ready, y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the oven. So y'all stay tuned. Whenever I come back, I will be showing you my finished product as well as doing a mukbang. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. So this is my finished brisket and steak, potatoes, onions, and bell peppers. Mm -hmm. It with gravy. And my butter beans and peas. Uh, not peas. I was about to say butter beans and peas. Butter beans and smoked neck bones. And my rice. So this will be our Sunday dinner. And y'all stay tuned for the mukbang. Hey y'all. Happy Sunday to you. Y'all welcome to the Hemingway household for dinner. Y'all my husband said he was going to the store. But guess what? It's after 7 o'clock and I am hungry. So he will miss the video. I will feed him when he come back. But as for now, I'm hungry, y'all, so I got to eat. I'm diabetic, so I can't mess around and let my sugar drop on me. So I'm going to say grace and give in, and then I'll tell y'all what I'm having. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this meal that I'm about to receive for the nourishments of my body. Lord, I ask you allow it to be nourishment and not harm. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So today I made some butter beans um, with smoked neck bones in it. I have some steak and I have a beef brisket that I also made with some potatoes, onions, and bell pepper. And for my drink, I'm having Mountain Dew. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started, y'all. I am hungry. Hope you guys are having a good day or had a good day. The day is almost about gone. Um, like I said, it's about 7. Now, I've been cooked, but they've been fiddling around doing this and doing that. But man, it's time for me to eat. So y'all go ahead and have some of these butter beans and rice. Go ahead. And I'm dropping it. Ooh. Mm. And yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. My bell peppers and onions. Good old white potato. I hope you guys had an amazing Sunday. I got, this is the first time I made a brisket, y'all. Got me some good old A1 on it. It's so tender, it's fall off the bone. Well, fall apart, because there's not even a bone in it. Me and my son went to Walmart yesterday. And they had a showcase full. I should have gotten two, but I didn't. I've never cooked one before, so I just picked up one. And some steaks just to see how it would be. I pan seared them, the brisket and the steaks. Put them in a, a oven bag. As you will see at the beginning, that you've seen at the beginning of the video, 
And y'all, it turned out amazing. I'll definitely be trying that again. And as well, I have an update on my nephew. He's doing better. He's feeling a lot better, and he's eating solid foods now. So y'all, prayer works. Don't never forget to pray. When you leave God out of things, that's when things become a mess. We've been praying for him and the family and church. And I'm telling you, God has really touched his little body. I tell you guys, that COVID ain't nothing to play with. I thank God for covering me and my family and keeping us safe. Because my husband and my son work outside of the household, but they do wear their masks. But anytime you're out in the public, you run that risk. And I just thank God for covering them, covering all of us. As most of you know, my mother is here with me. She's 75, elderly, so she's at risk. We, Me, my mom, and my son are diabetic, so we are at high risk. I just thank God for all his grace and mercy for covering us. My mother don't even go out much. I pick up her medicine. I do the grocery shopping, anything that, you know. She may ride out with me every now and then, but she sit in the car. She never go in the store. I'm trying to keep her as safe as possible. I just hope and pray that God is merciful enough to allow me to be here 74, 75 years. Everybody don't make it to that age. My nephew we put away a couple of weeks ago was only 46. So... You just never know. I give God all the glory, honor, and the praise for all he do for me and my family. Oh, y'all, this is so good. Nothing like some good butter beans. I didn't think to get me some okra to put on them, but my son don't like okra, so... These are delicious. And then he ordered pizza or something from Pizza Hut earlier. I don't know. I can't keep up with these kids and all the stuff they do. But my husband, he loves to eat. My mama loves to eat. I love to eat. So we have to have some real food. I cook it. And if they don't want it. And you get what you want. You can't never say that. I never cooked. I always cook, y'all. Matter of fact, I have some shrimp and crab. And I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make me a pan of seafood mac and cheese. So y'all stay tuned for that video. I mostly don't have time to do too much film during the week, y'all, because I work crazy hours, long hours. And when I get off that phone, dealing with all them spirits you come in contact with daily, I just, sometimes I don't even feel like cooking. Or I'll make something quick, you know, just for the family. And I'm telling you, in this house, if I don't cook, none of us will eat. I'm the cook, the chef, the housekeeper. I'm everything in here. But I have to do what I have to do. One thing about it, I know how to cook and I won't starve. My grandmother always <clears throat> taught us to take what you got and make a meal out of what you want. So hopefully y'all, our stimulus will be coming soon. Just waiting on it to hit the president's desk. Just another blessing. Now y'all, Mr. Midnight was in my room when I was in there getting myself dressed. He was in my room laying on my bed. As soon as he smelled food, because I wanted my food up in the microwave, 
As soon as you stroke a smell of food, now he right here beside me waiting. <laughs> you cannot eat around him. That joker got a good nose. Mm. Give y'all a piece of potato. I'm not really a potato eater, but they are good. Delicious. Neck bone. Now, this is one of my favorite smoked neck bone, y'all. That's what I mostly season my vegetables with. Because the smoke seasoning gives your vegetables or whatever you cooking in it a good flavor. You don't have to use a whole lot of salt. butter beans in a while and sometimes I'll make them with peas and okra and I like to feel peas these stores around here in South Carolina they try to sell field peas as peas that's not the kind not field peas um black eyed peas as peas that's not the kind I want I want the field peas with the snaps Mm. That's what I want in my butter beans, not black eyed peas. When I went <clears throat> looking for the butter beans yesterday, they did not have the field peas that I liked, so. I just made the regular butter beans which they are delicious my mama had a big neck <laughs> a big neck bone on her plate she didn't wait for the steak and brisket to get done I guess she was hungry so she said that was a good neck bone and I usually get mine from Walmart they are big and meaty This is a smaller one I got today because I have all this other meat, steak and brisket back here. But yes, ma'am, I can boil me a pot of neck bones and eat them just the way they are. The um, I like the fresh ones too, but the um, smoked ones I like better. And sometimes when I cook it, I mix the fresh and the smoked. Now, a lot of people like smoked turkey, but I'm not crazy about smoked turkey. It's okay. But I'm not crazy about it. I can eat it, but I can leave it too. It's a bone, yeah. So, y'all, I'm about done. Y'all know I was hungry to eat all my food. Normally, I don't finish it. I get full so quickly. I didn't have breakfast. Nor lunch. And normally, I eat just one meal a day. And that's enough for me, y'all. I'll either have to eat three small, very small meals, or one just one meal. Well, I'm good with the one meal. You see how tender that brisket is? Mm-hmm. You don't even need a knife.
Now y'all, I like a corned beef um, sandwich too. And that's something else that's good. Definitely good. Trying not to get nothing on my shirt, y'all. Excuse me. I'm definitely full. I eat most of my food. Got a little piece of potato, a little piece of meat, and a few more beans and rice. But I'm full, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to cut it off. And I truly would like to thank you guys for stopping by, joining me for dinner. I wish you guys were here to enjoy some of it. But Auntie how? Thank you for stopping by, and I uh, just want to take time out to say thank you to all of my new subscribers, my recently subscribed folks. Thank you guys for joining. Y'all, I really do appreciate each and every one of you, my old subscribers, my new subscribers. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you feel compelled to do so. I love you guys with the love of Jesus. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed until my next video. I love you all. Good night.